business, financial, job, family, marital, relational tragedies, and losses. So I ask us to be very attentive, worshipful, contemplative, and deeply grateful for God's goodness and mercy over you personally and me here tonight as we are not better than those who couldn't make it this far this year. Amen. Uh, I would ask if us to observe the, the uh, health protocols. If you can wear your face mask, if you uh, feel like wearing your face mask, uh, you can go ahead and, and maintain that. Uh, and so I also want to ask um, our nursing mothers, the toddlers, uh, to be in their department as the uh, crash. I uh, would also advise we avoid loitering, especially at the back there. And um, uh, we would also uh, be taking, as you have heard from Pastor Quilla, we'll take our, our second offering that would be the first offering of the year, the new year. And um, please, just in case you would be tempted to... Uh, do fireworks uh, inside here, please. Uh, no fireworks in this place. If you, for whatever reason, uh, you want to do fireworks, you can go to the grounds. You can go to the, 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 the Bahama grass where we did cantata. Uh, that place is special enough uh, for you to launch your rocket launchers. Amen. But... Uh, in-house, no fireworks. Tell your neighbor, turn to your neighbor and tell them, Pastor T say, no fireworks. Huh? Amen. No fireworks. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, when we get to the anointing time, as you have uh, seen the setting, uh, it will take the format of our communion service. The ushers would direct all of us. The ushers would lead us. Um, in the order that we should go. Uh, it would happen in this order. You would come and pick your cup. Uh, those uh, communion cups contain the oil, the anointing oil. So you pick your oil, prayerfully pick your, uh, your cup, and uh, go back to your seats. And when everybody is served, uh, the pastors would join me here, and then we will pray over the oil and pray over you so you will anoint yourself where you are. I think that that way is fair enough and that way uh, would he help all of us um, uh, so that we don't stay uh, uh, too long in tonight's service. I would also call our attention to this year of um, 2022 January prayer and fasting. Uh, this comes up every year when we come to the first month of the year, and that is January. Uh, this year, we would start from the 4th. The 4th, I believe, is on a Tuesday. Uh, we will start from the 4th of January through the 31st of January 2022. And the timing, the time is at 4.45 daily, 4.45, each evening here in this auditorium. And I would encourage us all to uh, uh, partake. I would want us all to be part of um, that uh, prayer meeting, uh, uh, those prayer evening meetings, because um, uh, those days and those times are critical and they're very crucial uh, to what happened for us and to us um, for the rest of the year, the time of um, a great spiritual exercise for us. And it's a time when we come here and invest um, uh, into the year ahead of time. And so please uh, make it a point of duty to come here 
uh, physically. And this year, we will not do the morning uh, segment. We will not do the dawn prayer meeting. So please join us each evening. Come as early as you can. Uh, for those of you uh, working, you can come straight from your workplace into this place. And um, we would be starting dead on time. Um, we would be punctual. Amen. Um, also, I want to use this moment, this time, uh, to say on behalf of our senior pastor, Lady Angela, and on behalf of all of us at the leadership, the pastors, uh, and our family, to say uh, a big thank you to all of us, to all of you, the gatekeepers. Uh, we want to thank you for your time, for your energy, and your resources to serve this great vision uh, and the kingdom of God. We ask that God would continue uh, to bless you as we keep this great work moving. Amen. So thank you. Thank you. I also want to say a big thank you to our pastors, uh, from senior pastor uh, to Pastor Njai, Pastor Aquile, and our families, uh, Reverend Ashcroft, to Minister Bakari, and to myself. Uh, it has been an awesome year. It has been um, a great year, uh, even though the year uh, was without its challenges. But um, we thank God for how far God has brought us. Uh, we are grateful to God for every little thing, um, both big and small, every little blessing, every uh, blessing that God has brought our way uh, in this year, we're grateful. We thank God for life. We thank God for grace. We thank God for uh, strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I believe come on Sunday, uh, for those, for the gatekeepers, um, this coming Sunday would be the last Sunday uh, for Pastor Aquile and uh, Brother Cyril and the girls with us. So it's going to be a celebration Sunday, a celebration and a farewell service uh, for the family, for Pastor Aquile and the family. Uh, and so let's all come ready to celebrate them. Let's all come ready to uh, appreciate them. Uh, their stay in this place, their uh, stay with us has been a huge blessing. Uh, woman of God and man of God, thank you so much for uh, serving and serving very well. Uh, we thank you so much. God bless you. And as you know, Pastor Aquila has come to the end of her time with her office. And uh, by default, her time ends with us also. Uh, but I'm sure uh, this is one relationship that would continue. Uh, this is one relationship we would give her. Uh, I told her we would, be giving, we would give her a diplomatic passport, a Gambian diplomatic passport, uh, and then the, the Gambian citizenship whenever you, whenever they worry you in Ghana, they stop the family in Ghana, you can, you can come. In fact, um, we will claim you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, tonight, we uh, trust God for his mercies. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his great grace in the house. I uh, thank God for how far God has uh, led us how far God has brought us uh, to this point. We thank God for every instruction, for every message, for every encouragement that um, uh, came from this platform, from this pulpit. Uh, I believe that the year on the review 2021 uh, has been uh, a great year. It has been uh, a successful year. God has blessed us as gatekeepers. God has blessed us as um, a ministry, and I believe as individuals, we were tremendously blessed. Amen. 
Uh, tonight, I will be speaking on what I call, we are crossing over. We are crossing over. And when I say we, I mean every single one of us. Not a, wo not a hoof would be left behind. We and our entire household, whether the enemy like it or not, we are crossing over. We have already packed our, 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 our luggages. We have prepared ourselves for this, uh, for, for this day. And um, we are not looking back. We are not uh, looking behind. We have our eyes. We have our focus. We have our gaze set on 2022. And whatever, and I'm sure, I know without an iota of that, 2022 has a great package for us. Can I hear an amen? The year 2022, I know um, uh, if some of us have our ways, uh, we will want to remain in 2021. Uh, if we have our ways, we want to uh, pitch our tent in 2021 because um, uh, it is 2021 that we have experienced so far. It is 2021 that we have known because, you know, people are afraid of um, the unknown. People are afraid of the unknown, and that is human. Uh, the human being is afraid of the unknown. We are afraid of the future. But I have um, an encouragement for you, and I have um, a word of prophecy this evening for you. And that word is, um, the future for you is bright. The future for the gatekeeper is bright. There is a great future for us in 2022. We are crossing over. Uh, nothing would prevent that. Nothing would stop that. We are going over. We are crossing over. And so let's look at um, um, the book of Mark, the, the gospel of St. Mark, chapter 4. Mark, chapter 4. We would read just one verse. Can you pull the scripture for me, please? Mark, chapter 4, verse 35. And um, this uh, was the end of um, uh, Jesus' storytelling. Jesus um, uh, teaching the disciples and um, all the people who gathered around him at the Sea of Galilee. Uh, in this case, he was uh, teaching them, he was giving them the parable of the sower. And um, we understand that the parables are coded messages or they are coded uh, languages, but um, with profound uh, with, with profound truths, with profound practical uh, life applications. And uh, when we apply them, we uh, would be blessed. And so in this occasion, the Bible says that on that same day, that same day, the day that um, the people gathered around him at the Sea of Galilee or the seashore of Galilee uh, 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 for him to teach them, at the end of the day, uh, the Bible says that uh, when the evening had come, he said to them, who are those that he was talking to, to his disciples? He said, uh, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. And um, mark you, this is not a suggestion. This statement is not a suggestion, but it was a command. He was commanding them. He told them that um, it is time for us um, to change position. It is time for us to change um, place. It is time for us to go over. It is time for us to um, uh, have a different experience. You know, the Sea of Galilee was a, a familiar spot, was a familiar place for the disciples, uh, especially people like Peter. They were fishermen. Um, that's the place where they... Uh, 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 where, where, where they, 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 they are used to. It's, it's a familiar terrain for them. It's a, a familiar, familiar sport for them. And uh, Jesus felt that uh, these people have 
have stayed so long uh, on this side of the river or on this side of the sea, it's time for them to have a new experience. And Jesus is saying the same thing to you tonight. It is time for us to experience something different. It is time for us to uh, experience something new, something unique, something different from what we have already experienced. Jesus wants to show us something different. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. He told them, let's leave this place. This place is too familiar. Let us go to somewhere different. Explore new territories and new opportunities. Let's do something different. Um, turn to your neighbor, tell, tell, tell your neighbor, do something different. He wants them to experience something different. He wants them to do something different. He says, um, let us do something different. And I want to believe that um, he must have understood that um, things are always better on the other side. Please don't be afraid of going to the other side. Amen. Do not be afraid of going to the other side because things are better at the other side. You have stayed so long. Um, uh, uh, the Bible says uh, on this side of the mountain, it's time for you to move on. It's time for us to move on. It is time for us to go over, to cross over. He told them, that um, it is time for us to go for the other side. And tonight, as we prepare to cross over into the new year, we must be determined to do something different. Take on a new challenge or take on new challenges, move into, new, uh, move into the new year with faith, courage, and determination, and let's watch how God would work for us. This is a challenge. Amen. We must prepare to enter the new year with faith, with confidence, and with determination. That's all God wants from us. And let's leave the rest to him. All what God requires of you and me or you and myself tonight is for us to look in the face of the coming year with um, so much confidence that the year would be a great year for us. It would be a successful year for us. And so uh, we cannot uh, want to remain uh, in 2021. I know 2021 was a great year, but 2022 would be greater. Can I hear an Amen. I say 2022 would be greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we uh, take that giant step with God, as we take that um, step of faith with God into the new year, uh, we would watch and see how God uh, would bring to fulfillment this great team in all our lives. But we have to be courageous. We have to be determined, we will have to be bold, and we would have to be uh, people of confidence in our God. Amen. I want us to look at uh, uh, our second scripture, that is Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3, as we stand on the threshold of a new year. I want us to learn from Joshua. I want us to take a cue from Joshua's um, faith, Joshua's courage, and Joshua's uh, determination as he uh, led the children of Israel into the promised land. And so we will read from verse 1 of Joshua chapter 3. I read, it says, Then Joshua rose early in the morning, and they set out from the Acacia grove and came to to the Jordan, he and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they crossed over. Let's go. He said, so it was after three days that the officers went through the camp. 
And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. Amen. For you have not passed this way before. Let's go. It says, And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priests, saying, Take up the ark of the covenant and cross over before the people. So they took up the ark of the covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Let's go. You shall command the priest who bear the ark of the covenant, saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God, take note of that, the living God, not the dead God, not a dead God, but the living God is among you. He said, and, and Joshua said, by this you shall know that the living God is among you and that he will without fail, without fail, drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, and the Perizzites, and the Gagasites, and the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Say, Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth, not the ark of the covenant of the, uh, 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 the, the Lord of the Gambia or the Lord of Ghana or the Lord of um, uh, 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 Senegal or any other nation, but he is the Lord of all the earth. It says, Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing over before you into Jordan. Now, therefore, take for yourselves. Twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one man from every tribe. And it shall come to pass as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, take note again, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off. The waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. So it was, when the people set out from their camp to cross over the Jordan, with the priest bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people. And as those who bore the Ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priest who bore the Ark dipped in the edge of the water, for the Jordan overflows, all its banks during the whole time of the harvest. Jordan is a wild river. Jordan is a boisterous river. Jordan is a dangerous river. It says that the waters which came down from upstream stood still and rose in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zarathan. So the waters that went down into the sea of the Arab, the salt sea, failed and were cut off. And the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Then the priest who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of the Jordan. And all Israel crossed over on dry ground until all the peoples had crossed completely over the, over, or over the Jordan. What a miracle. Hallelujah. 
And the Bible says that um, as soon as um, the priests who carry the ark, as soon as their feet touch the water, the river Jordan dried up and the people went through the river on dry ground. Ha, can you imagine? Not even on the muddy soil. All the waters got evaporated. What a miracle. Hallelujah. I said, what a miracle. Crossing over a new year is an important event. We need to spend some time reflecting on the past and plan the future. Uh, tonight, I have extracted five points uh, from the scriptures we just read. And uh, we'll look at them and um, try uh, to relate them to uh, what is happening uh, as we uh, set our sights on closing over as we set our sights on 2022. Uh, the following are the five things we should do when we cross over into a new year. Hallelujah. Number one, that um, cross over with your goals early. If there's anything we need to do, we need to cross over with our goals early enough. In other words, um, whatever you have planned to do for 2022, you must start it tomorrow. You must start it tomorrow. And you must uh, do it early enough. The Bible says, um, let's, let's um, pull the scripture for me again. It says, uh, then Joshua rose early in the morning. Early in the morning. He was not ready to postpone uh, um, his plans for anything. He was ready. He was ready to, 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 to uh, uh, set out to go and to lead the children of Israel into their promised land. You, you know, you know, and, and, and you, know, you know something? Joshua had a daunting task. Leading over a million people. Can you imagine? This was a task that uh, uh, Moses uh, should have achieved in his li lifetime. But um, he, he uh, do, do I say he failed? Or, but then he couldn't. Or for some reasons, he didn't. And here comes Joshua. You remember Joshua? Joshua and Caleb? These were men with different spirit. The Bible says that the, um, Joshua... Um, is, a, is a kind of leader who is proactive. He does not waste time um, um, over issues and matters that um, uh, 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 he wants to undertake. The Bible says that, um, it says, um, uh, then Joshua rose early in the morning and they set out for Acacia Grove and came to the Jordan, he and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they cross over, before they cross over, probably they were out. They, they had come to discuss probably, uh, you know, um, how do I call it? Um, strategies. Um, you know, that's, that's what they call uh, strategic uh, planning. These guys come uh, to look at how are we going to across over this uh, uh, dangerous river. Uh, here lies between the children of Israel, uh, 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 between them and, and Jericho, between them and the promised land, the river called River Jordan. The Bible says this uh, river flows its bank. It overflows its bank. It means um, it can swallow you. It, the undercurrent of the river can sweep you and take you away. You know, and, and, and this uh, um, could mean our life challenges. Here we are, God must have said something to you. God must have given us a promise. But here you are, there are obstacles 
between us and those promises. The obstacles are called River Jordan. You have to be brave. You have to be of good courage for you to surmount um, these hurdles and these uh, 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 obstacles if you are going to witness the Canaan land. Amen. I said amen. amen. The Bible says that Joshua rose early. We must cross with our goals early. No, uh, 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 no procrastination. Whatever you, you, want, uh, you need to do, do it, um, 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 uh, do it quick. Do it early. Never leave for tomorrow what you can do today. Don't leave for tomorrow what you need to do today. Don't procrastinate. Do it quickly. And let's stop talking and start doing. Because God is waiting for us. Imagine if um, um, all what Joshua did was to uh, sit at that river bank with, uh, you know, he was, he, was, he was carrying a huge responsibility. Over a million people. And that's, that's, that's leadership for you. Those are the leadership challenges. You know, I'm, I'm sure um, he could have just sat there and called um, his uh, lay leaders or the second tier uh, of his leadership um, for them to start analyzing uh, and, and start discussing how do we tackle this river. Uh, but the Bible says that um, he started giving instructions. He started commanding uh, the people as to what needs to be done. And uh, he never left uh, for tomorrow what he should have done today. He went right away and started uh, giving instructions. We'll see that uh, uh, from Joshua 3, 15 and 16. Um, read uh, Joshua 3, 15 and 16. Quickly pull it up for me. Joshua 3, 15 and 16. It talks about um, then jo no, 15, Joshua 3, 15 and 16. And as those who bore the ark come to the Jordan and the feet of the priest who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water for the Jordan River flows. And then, you know, uh, in, in short, it's it saying that um, as soon as they, they, they stepped in the river, uh, what happened? The Bible says the water stopped. The water stopped because um, their feet touched uh, 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 the water, or uh, the, yes, the, the feet of the priest touch the water. I wrote here, I said, we must be ready to wet our feet. It's called faith action. It was only when they dipped their feet into the river Jordan that the miracle happened. Hallelujah. Be ready to wet your feet in 2022. You must be able to take that bold step in the face of whatever opposition. Dip those feet in the water. Let those feet be wet. And that's where the miracle happens. That's where the miracle comes. Hallelujah. I said it is better to fail attempting to do something than succeed in doing nothing. Uh, if you succeed in doing nothing, it's called uh, successful failure. Uh, if you fail, uh, if you succeed in doing nothing, um, it's just that you have succeeded in failing. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Number two, cross over with God's presence. If there's anything, if there's anything we are going to need for the coming year would be the glory of God, would be the presence of God. Joshua 3.3 3 says, whenever you see, he said this was an instruction. Joshua was giving 
uh, 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 the people, the, the, the people he said to them, he said, whenever you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord, your God, of the Lord, your God, the ark represents God's presence. It talks about um, God's presence, the manifested presence or the manifest presence of God. It says, whenever you see the presence of God, go after it. Don't wait. Don't waste any more time. Hallelujah. It says, whenever you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest, the Levites bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Tell your neighbor, go after it. Go after it. Go after the presence of God. If there is anything that we must chase after in the coming year must be the presence of God. We must run after this God. We must chase him. We must go after God. We must follow him. We need to go after God. Follow him. We have to run after the things of God. Be a God chaser in the coming year. Let's run after God. Amen. I know uh, most times um, uh, we spend uh, a lot of valuable times and running after uh, certain things, uh, running after issues and, and, and all whatnot. But um, what Joshua recommended for these people was um, if you have to succeed, if we are to succeed, we must follow the presence of God. We must follow the leading and the guidance of God's presence. Amen. Because the presence of God is everything. You know, you can uh, run after um, other things and, and forget God. And, and, and remember, it is God who owns everything uh, on the, the surface of this world. The Bible says it is God who makes us profit. Amen. He, it is God who gives us the power to make wealth. It is him who gives us the wisdom. It is God who gives us the knowledge to uh, uh, exchange our, our, our skills for the substances of this world. It is God. If there is anything that we must do this year is to covet the presence of God for the new year. We can never be wrong by running after God. Amen. That's the charge I have for all of us this year. Let's run after this God. We all see what is happening globally. We all are, uh, um, we are aware of what is happening um, um, all over the world. No, I, the whole world is struggling to contain uh, the pandemic. But I want to believe that um, uh, the big man knows what is happening. We may not understand what is happening, but God knows exactly what is happening. And so if there's anything that we must uh, invest our time, we must um, uh, 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 follow this year, is the presence of God. We must not uh, allow the presence of God escapes us in this new year. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Follow God. Follow God. Follow after his presence. Follow God. Number three or point three says cross over with urgency. No time for dealing, darling. No time to waste. Be passionate. Be urgent. Whatever we have to do in the coming year, let it be done with a sense of urgency. There's no time to waste. Next year, by this time, we would be closing into 2023. Abby, no time to waste. We should treat every matter with urgency. Can I hear an amen? Uh, Joshua 3, 4 says, he said, yet there shall be a space between you and it. Space between you and it 
about 2,000 cubit, um, cubits by measure, 2,000 cubits by measure is about 1,000 um, uh, feet. That's quite a distance, you know. And this is God's instruction to them. It says uh, in, 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 in essence, God is telling them, create space for me to walk. Allow me space. Hallelujah. Allow God space. As we um, um, hit the year 2022, we must create space for God. We must allow God space for him to walk on our behalf. Uh, you know, uh, charismatic Pentecostals, uh, um, you know, sometimes we can, we, can take, we can take the things of God for granted. God is telling them that uh, uh, keep your distance. I, I know you will say that, um, well, God loves fellowship. God wants us to fellowship with him. God wants to get closer to him. But, but you know uh, what the English would say, familiarity, uh, uh, I think, brings contempt or so. Uh, sometimes we can get used to the things of God that we take things for granted. God was telling the Israelites that allow me space. Give me some distance. In other words, um, if we are or whenever we approach God, we must approach him with reverence. We must revert the presence of God. We must revert the presence of God. Hallelujah. God told them, allow me space. Don't come too close. Hallelujah. In the coming year, God is saying, to us, allow me some space so I can do my work for you. Don't come too close. Approach me with reverence. Let's not be too familiar with God and the things of God and take God for granted. Amen. And number four. It says cross over with a clean up. Cross over with a clean up. Um, we can find that in Joshua 3, 5. Joshua 3, 5, it says, sanctify yourselves. Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. It says, sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will do wonders among you. Sanctify yourself. In other words, God was saying that prepare yourselves. Prepare yourself for what? is at hand for what is in store for you. Prepare yourself. You know, uh, you know, New Year, we, um, um, I think I should say this. We have to be careful uh, as how we enter the year. So you must, um, you know, uh, uh, freshen up. Uh, change your countenance. Don't um, be frowning until you, 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 you go into the new year with a frown face. Uh, be careful. If not, um, that's, that's how the, your, your, year would, uh, your, your year would go. Hmm? Let's be excited. Amen. Hallelujah. He told them, sanctify yourself. Santo. To sanctify means to set ourselves apart. To clean us up. To clean ourselves up. I uh, wrote here, I said, um, Take a shower. Hmm? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take a shower. Get refreshed. Clean up. Leave the past and the bad memories behind. Leave the past and the bad memories of 2021 behind. Sanctify yourself. Hallelujah. I said sanctify yourself. Because we are about entering. A new season. Can I hear an amen? I said you are about entering a new season. A fresh new start in God. You can start it all over again. Hallelujah. Sanctify yourself. For we are about entering into our new season. I said you can, you can have, I said, um, um, you can have a, a clean break from the past. Get prepared for your establishment. Let's get ourselves prepared for our establishment. Have a clean break from the past. God is about doing a new thing for us. 
sanctify yourself and sanctification calls for, prepare, uh, for preparation. God says to them, prepare yourselves because he has something bigger, he has something greater, and God has something better for you on the other side of Jordan. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's look at our last point. It says, cross over without excess. Amen. Uh, I, I know most times you hear people, when, uh, people who travel, uh, quite often you will, you, when you ask them, um, how, are you, how are you traveling? They, they, they will tell you, I'm traveling light. Hmm? Amen. Joshua told them that uh, if we are going to cross over, we must cross over without excess, without excess luggage. You know, excess luggage costs, uh, 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 attracts what? Ex extra cost. Mm? We cannot afford that extra cost in the new year, in the coming year. So let's travel light into the new year. And it says in Joshua 3.10, it says, by this, by what? It says, by this, you shall know that the living God, take note of that, the living God, not the dead God, not the gods of the Amorites, not the gods of the Hittites, not the God of the Jebusite, not the God, um, not those hidden gods, not the gods that have hands but they cannot uh, perform, not gods that have legs but they cannot move. He says the living God, the God of the universe, the living God is among you. Can I hear an amen, gatekeepers? The living God is amongst us. The living God is among you. Amen. It says, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Hivites and the Perizzites and the Gagasites and the Amorites and the Jebusites and all the, the, the other uh, tithes. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you see that? These are, uh, um, uh, um, these, all these um, represent, um, if, you, if you like, mountains. There are mountains, there are uh, things in effect. Uh, he was telling them that um, I will take care of your worries, things that you are afraid of, things that you are worried about. God says that he will take care of those worries. Don't be afraid. Stop worrying after, 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 after uh, 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 stop worrying over things that you have no control over. God says that he will take care of them. Amen. Remember this where the, uh, the tribes or the, 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 the people that um, the Israel um, failed to eliminate. And so they become a thorn. They, they, they become thorns in their flesh. And so God told them that, um, don't worry. I will take care of them. Hallelujah. And so... We need to release to God our mountains and understand that he will remove the mountains in our lives. Uh, that issues that are overwhelming, our issues that uh, look overwhelming, God says that he will take great care of them. He will handle those matters for us as we set our sight, as we set our hearts into crossing into, uh, uh, crossing into the new year. I want us to uh, begin to thank God for the year on the review we have by my time, uh, seven minutes to uh, midnight, and uh, we will start the countdown uh, by five minutes to midnight. And so I want us to take this time uh, serious. I want us to begin to reflect. I want to also begin uh, to get into a worship mood as we uh, prepare ourselves um, to 
enter the new year. Uh, let's have a personal time of reflection. Over the year on the review 2021, undoubtedly has been a great year for us. Uh, here we stand, we stand in good health, we stand uh, with life. Like I said in the beginning, that there are people who should have been on this side of eternity, but they're normal. Uh, and uh, we are grateful to God for the gift of life. We are grateful to God for grace. We are grateful to God for uh, great health that God has given us. And so I want you to have a, uh, a sober reflection of the year under review, all the things that God has uh, done for you, you and your household, you and your family. Uh, please, let's minimize the movement. I don't want to see anybody moving at the, at the, at the foyer area. Please. I don't want to see anybody moving around that area. I said I don't want to see anybody moving around that area, please. Can we all be seated? This four minutes, 48 seconds. Let's all take a prayerful posture as we prepare our hearts. To welcome the new year. Can the ushers help me with those children, please? This four minutes, 17 seconds. Be grateful to God tonight. Let's be thankful. For all that the Lord has done for us in the year 2021. Labra katali protolo bashtaka rabata. Yeketika rabatali protolo bashtari alamani. Ingrabala kastali bratala li protola kasta. Whatever posture you want to take, feel free and go ahead. There's three minutes, 37, 36 seconds. We have three minutes. Three minutes, 30 seconds, 29, 28 seconds to go into the new year. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. For counting us, Lord, among, Lord, the blessed ones. For counting us among those you have blessed. For counting us among the ones you have highly favored. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Here we stand. In all of you, here we stand. Jehovah Lord in a humble adoration thank you Lord we have 2 minutes 31 seconds 2 minutes 29 seconds 2 minutes 27 seconds 25 seconds oh what a glorious God we have if the enemy had his way he would have eliminated us if the enemy and the ramblings of the walls has their way we won't be seated in this place, at a time such as this, we have two minutes, four seconds. Macro tola macro tali kratala branda. Yes, we are down to a minute, 57 seconds, 55, 54 seconds, 52 seconds, 50 seconds, 49 seconds, 48, 47, 46, 7. Oh, makatari bratali brata. Ile Bratala Makata, somebody worship the Lord. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Worship the Lord in His holy temple. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Makrotolo Boria Labantari Labranta. Le Prokotoro Baba 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 Baba
to 2022. Nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy 22nd! Uh, happy 2022! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, Sarah Katara! Come on, somebody! Make a joyful noise this morning! 2022, here we come! 2022, here we come! Here we come! Here we come! Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead and let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate the year. Finally, here we are, 2022. Bless the name of the Lord for 2021. Bless the name of the Lord for 2022. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for His faithfulness. Thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Lord, we worship you. Let's worship God. Let's worship the Lord. Praise God from whom all mercies flow. Praise Him, all creatures, give Him glory. Praise Him, our God,
presence in the house. Thank you, Lord, for your great grace in the house. Lord, thank you for the new year, Lord, for the early hours of this year, Lord. We bless you. We give you all the glory. We worship you, Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. We ascribe all glory, all honor to you, Lord. Lord, for you are a great God. You are a living God. Jehovah, Lord, there is none like unto you, Lord. There is none that can be compared to you, Lord. We declare that, Lord, in these early hours of the day, Lord, in the early hours of the year, Lord, the Lord God, we will be preserved in the new year, Lord. Lord, we'll be insulated, Lord. We will be favored, Lord. Lord, you would bless us beyond our wildest dream, Lord. Jehovah, the word establishment and established would be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we stamp that word all over our lives, all over our families, all over. Lord, our, 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 our persons, Lord. Jehovah, we declare that, Lord, it's a new day. Lord, it's a new um, um, season in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us, Lord, into new opportunities, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us, Lord, oh God. Jehovah, Lord, um, into new territories, Lord. Jehovah, Lord, uh, would possess, Lord. And there were people who would possess the gates of their enemies. In the name of Jesus, as you have... Oh, Jehovah, Lord, as you have promised in your word, Jehovah, you drive the, the enemy nations ahead of us, Lord. You will go before us like that consuming fire to burn all our enemies or to burn the enemies of your people. In the name of Jesus, the Lord of God, you will clear the ground, you will clear the road before your people. In the name of Jesus, you will lead us by your hand. You will lead us by your hand. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We'll take one more song and then we'll get into, um, I think I will we'll take the offering um, and then we'll get into the anointing service. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Let's take one more song. All hail the King, all hail the King, praise His name, praise His name, everybody bow down. Oh, Come on, feel free to dance, right to it's a new year, hey, yeah. you can all even move around and greet somebody, and greet somebody, a happy new year. Praise His name, praise His name, everybody Bow down. He has a right to you. Oh, oh, give him glory. Give him honor. Give him honor. Shout his name. Sing his praise. Everybody now say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Dance your way into the new year. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
For the, for the anointing service. Um, the ushers, can you help? Just as the communion pro protocols, uh, we have the small cups here with anointing oil and uh, the ushers would lead us as we pick the, the oil, uh, the small cup, just walk gently to your seat and wait for a further instruction as to what needs to be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we do, can we, can we start moving to the tables and pick the, uh, the oils?
Thank you for tonight. Thank you uh, for this um, um, emblem, the anointing oil. Lord, a symbol of your presence, uh, a symbol of your act and your work in the lives uh, of a believer. We thank you that, Lord, uh, when you anoint, you anoint uh, people for their assignments into their office you declare them you unveil them Lord you outdoor them Lord and thank you as your peoples receive the, um, uh, this uh, symbol of your touch over their lives for the new year uh, Lord uh, God may we all be turned into a new person Lord may we all turn to a new man. Lord, may we be anointed, may we be graced, may we be empowered, Lord, uh, to profit, may we be empowered to prosper, may we be empowered, Lord, to succeed in this new year, Lord. Lord, that you will crown the year for us with great things in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, thank you, Lord. For this moment, thank you for this awesome opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for this awesome but rare opportunities, Lord, to witness, Lord, a moment and a time like this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for 2022. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for 2022. Thank you for all this year has for us, Lord. Lord, we believe that you have gone ahead of us long since. Thank you, Lord. We will run after you. We will follow your footsteps. 
we would follow your, your presence, Lord. It is your presence that matters. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord, your presence will lead us into every single day of this new year, every single second, every single minute, hours, and days. Lord, as days becomes weeks, weeks becomes months, months uh, becomes a full calendar year, the Lord. Uh, may we stand here again next year by this time to testify that you have been good to us. Thank you for everything. Lord, we bless you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, now as the pastors will join me, um, you will dip your fingers in what you have and just like this, just like this and, you know, anoint yourself and the pastors will come and release God's blessings uh, over you, you and your entire household, you and all that um, you uh, desire to achieve for this new year in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can anoint yourself. Hallelujah. Can I ask the pastors to join me? Or, or maybe we can just take it by turn. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for crossing us over in such grace and in such power. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing that marks us today. And I declare, church, over your lives that by this anointing, you are marked to move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. May every foot be removed from the miry clay and be set upon the rock to stay in the name of the Lord Jesus. By this anointing, the Lord strengthens your hand. By this anointing, the Lord strengthens your feet. By this anointing, every obstacle is removed out of the way. By this anointing, every giant becomes small before you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, go forward in the power of the Lord. Go forward and possess the land. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the grace of God to come upon your life. I command that the power of God will rest upon you. I declare that the grace of God will come upon you in increasing measure. I declare that the grace of God comes upon you and your family, upon your children and upon your entire household, that you are marked for excellence, that you are marked for greatness. The enemy will look for you and not find you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the enemy shall seek around your neighborhood, but shall not locate you you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord hides you under the shadow of his wing. The Lord releases angels of protection over your life and over your household and over all that is yours. Walk through the length and the breadth of 2022 with this blessing upon your lives that the Lord's power comes upon you. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward and be great. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Father, we give you thanks. We bow our hearts in surrender to you. Thank you, Lord, that we cross over with you, your presence. Thank you, Lord, that your presence has gone over ahead of us in 2022. And we declare that it is well with us. It is indeed the year of establishment. By the anointing upon our lives, by the call and the sanctification and the separation unto good works, Lord, we declare that every yoke of bondage is broken, every yoke of fear is broken, every yoke of procrastination is taken away, every yoke of delay is destroyed, in the name of Jesus, by reason of the anointing, O God. Father, we are asking that the hand of the Lord comes upon the righteous of God, upon this nation, for speed. Lord, speed to overtake as we cross over 
on to the other side, Lord, into this new year. Lord, that you will give grand speed unto your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let the favor of the Lord rest upon your people. Let your favor rest upon your people, O oh God, that will give us access into the high places of this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command the land to make room, to make way for the righteous of God, for the children of God. In the name of Jesus, we command the nation to receive the giftings of the, of the children of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, by this hand and this touch, the glory of the Lord comes upon the children of the Lord. The glory of the Lord will establish the counsel of the Lord for the righteous in this nation, in this time, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, Holy Ghost. We give you glory. We give you honor. Father, we thank you because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Father, because there is no one like you. We thank you, Father, because, Lord, you have given us the ability to see 2022. We are praising you for that in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the anointing of God that you've anointed us with, the fresh anointing that you've given to us. We thank you, Father, because of that anointing, O oh God, wherever the sole of our feet shall tread in 2022, Lord. Father, you are going to grant it unto us. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, Father, by the reason of the anointing, O oh God, Father, wherever our lives have been called desolate, O oh God, Father, they are becoming Hepzibahs, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The delight of the Lord. They are becoming bullers, O oh God. Father, the beautification of the Lord. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, O oh God. Father, in 2022, O oh God, our homes, O oh God, our houses, O oh God, they will become Bethesda's, O oh God. They will become the house of grace, the house of mercy. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you glory. Father, we thank you because, Lord, in this year, Father, every place, O oh God, Lord, that we touch, Lord, you will establish it. We give you glory and we give you honor. Because, Lord, the land, oh God, Father, it is make, being made beautiful for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, Father, doors that have been closed, Father, they are opening, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, doors that have been closed in this land, Father, we declare that in 2022, Lord, they will be opened in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. We give you honor, of honor, oh God, because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Lord, your grace, Father, is being made sufficient. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you glory and we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you for your grace upon your people. By this anointing, Lord, I decree and declare, O oh God, that the works of your people will be established this year in 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare and declare that this year, even as your people walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will fear no evil because your presence will continually be with them. Lord, I pray this year, even as your people go out through this year, Father, your blessing will overtake them, Lord. Your goodness will overshadow them. Your presence will be with them in everything that they do. Father, this year, oh God, you will bring divine helpers for your people, people that will help them, that will bring them to their expected end. You will do them good, oh God. Father, I pray this year, God, as we have crossed over into 2022, Father, uh, whatever has been hindering them in the past, oh God, Lord, they, they, they will leave those things behind. Whatever has been an obstacle into their life, Lord, they will leave them behind. Lord, you will march ahead of them. You will be their shepherd, oh God. You will be there for them in every time of their life. Your grace will be with them. Your favor will be with them. Your goodness, oh God, will, will be with them, oh God. Father, you will satisfy them early in their lives, oh God. You will not delay, but you will come quickly and forth, and you will rescue them from everything. This year, Lord, we pray, oh God, as your people are crossing over, Lord, whatever has been hindering them, whatever sickness has been uh, troubling them, Lord, the, the, those sicknesses will be left behind. Father, they will cross over, heal. They will cross over, Lord, knowing that the Lord 
Even God himself has gone ahead of them to prepare the way for them. Lord, your people will be comforted this year because your presence will continually be with them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. In the same spirit, I want us to lift up our hands and uh, pray for the nation. Let's pray and bless the nation, the Gambia. Let's pray and bless this land that the same grace, the same unction, the same blessings that we have come into at the gateway and as gatekeepers would flow to the nation in the name of Jesus, that the nation would prosper. Our land would bless its inhabitants in the name of Jesus. Let's commit the nation. Let's pray for the peace of this nation, that the nation would be united. The land of the Gambia would be united. The people, our diverse people would be united. Let's send our love, our prayer to the um, different regions of this land. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for revival, for a tangible revival, for the visit of God of our nation, that the land would be visited by the grace and the glory of God all over the land, all over the nations, all over the nation. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the land. Thank you, Lord, for the land. Thank you for the Gambia. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you for our leadership. We pray, Lord, for a wise leadership. We pray for a prudent leadership. We pray for a visionary leadership. We pray that, Lord God, our institutions, Lord, and our people, Lord, would be blessed in the name of Jesus. That, Lord God, our institutions would um, walk in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for these early hours of the year. We honor you, Lord. We honor you. We exalt your name. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have almost come to the end of uh, this service. I want to say again on behalf of our senior pastor and on behalf of all of us at the pastorate, uh, we wish you a happy new year. We wish you uh, a blessed 2022. And let's um, run uh, with the word of God. Let's run with um, what we have heard tonight. And let's not waste any more time. Let's go out there. The year has already begun, you know. <laughs> so um, time would not wait for anybody. Whatever you are uh, out to do, whatever God has impressed on your heart, go out there and let's do it. Let's do something different. Uh, let's, um, um, you know, uh, uh, move on. Let's move on. God is on our side. The presence of God uh, has gone ahead of us into the year. And uh, there's no doubt that God has cleared the way before us. And we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, choir, let's sing one song as we disperse. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. Amen. Give one, um, one prayer song so we can go.
true of the Lord is right here in our midst. Thank you for coming. God's share the benediction for sure. God's goodness and His mercy follow us all the days of our lives, and we will remain in the house of the Lord forever.